The 2012 recipient of the Art Scholl Showmanship Award is the kind of pilot that would prompt Art Scholl himself to stop what he's doing and look to the sky during an air show performance. From an entertainment point of view, he does it all. He has the demeanor of a professional entertainer on the ground that recognizes that shaking hands, signing autographs, interacting with the media, and entertaining sponsors is as much a part of his role as an air show performer as his exhilarating and amazing skills as a pilot. Great day for the air show. I look forward to doing my solo later on. But it's his talent as a performer that has set him apart from the other pilots of his generation. This year's Art Scholl recipient flies an aggressive and distinctive style of hardcore air show aerobatics in his MXS aircraft. In a comparatively short time, he separated himself from the pack and been identified not just as a promising air show pilot with a lot of potential, but as a pilot who is among the top solo aerobatic pilots in our business right now. Not too long ago, during a magazine interview, tonight's Scholl Award recipient said, I want to create an air show routine that makes the crowd not want to blink for fear of missing something. Clearly, he's achieving his goal. A two-time winner of the U.S. National Aerobatic Championship in the Unlimited category, the 27th recipient of the Art Scholl Showmanship Award developed and sharpened his aerobatic skills in the competition arena. He becomes just the fourth pilot to win both the U.S. Limited Championship and the Art Scholl Showmanship Award. Joining air show legends Gene Susie, Leo Ladenschlager, and Michael Goulian. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the 2012 recipient of the prestigious Art Scholl Showmanship Award, Rob Holland. still. Greg McBurder wanted to come up and, and uh, join in on the festivities. Greg, would you come up and say a couple of words for us? Thank you. Thank you. Well, first of all, Rob, congratulations, and thank you so much for uh, allowing me to come up and talk, and especially uh, in, uh, inviting the, uh, the Blue Angels to be a part of this uh, presentation. Uh, you know, we talked a little bit about Art Show. I never had the chance to be Art Show, uh, and like many of you, uh, I know uh, what kind of person he was just from the story. You know, I never got a chance to shake his hand, never got a chance to uh, share stories about aviation, but like everyone in this room, I see his impact on a daily basis in this uh, in this in industry. Uh, he was an engaging entertainer, uh, you know, flawless performer. But most importantly, he was a professional, and he was that professional leader uh, that this industry uh, really, uh, really, really, really sought out. Uh, he was that guy who took a professional performance and turned it into a very safe evolution. That commitment to excellence that we talk about and have talked about over the course of the last uh, four days. Uh, and this year's recipient embodies all those things that, uh, that we know uh, about uh, about Mr. Scholl. Uh, I first met Rob Holland uh, in, uh, in the fall of 08. Uh, he was one of my first air show industry civilian performers that I'd ever met in my life. I was new to the team. I uh, didn't really know what to expect about the industry and certainly not, not know what to expect about the civ civilian performers. I'd heard the names, uh, but quite honestly, I hadn't met any of them. Uh, and so I was just blown away the first time I met Rob. Not only is he 10 feet tall and wears flip-flops, uh, <laughs> which is a great thing, uh, but he is that, uh, you know, he's that, that silent killer that we talk about at the end of the military. He's a, he's a very smart individual, a very thoughtful person, but he's that calm demeanor, that calm confidence uh, that I think makes a great, great pilot. Uh, he's also a man of incredible integrity, and every time he opens his mouth, uh, he, and talks about aviation. He's got vision. He's got passion. Uh, over the course of the last uh, four and a half years, uh, he and I have talked uh, talked on a number of occasions. We shared stories about what influenced us as young uh, aviators. Uh, we've uh, drawn those parallels between military training and, and competitive uh, aerobatic training. Uh, every day I talk to him, I learn something, and I picked up three great things along the way. The first one is 
Every day in this industry is a gift. And I learned that uh, from guys like Rob and Sean and Michael Bugley and every one person I work with here. It's a gift to be in this industry and appreciate it while you have it. Uh, the second thing is, is teamwork. You know, we always think about the Blue Angels or the Thunderbirds, Golden Knights, Black Daggers as, as, you know, the epitome of teamwork. And I agree that we do a very, very good job at it. But you don't need to do anything other than go to an air show and see teamwork. Every act, whether it's a single individual or a team uh, of, of aviators, they work together, and, and, and that teamwork ends up in a great, great story. And that teamwork dovetails into that air show, and the air shows dovetail into a great, great season. And that is essentially ICAST, and that teamwork is incredible. And for an outsider coming into this industry, when you think about that level of teamwork and where my small little team fits in to that, it really makes you appreciate what we're all here to do and what we're all here to do together. And Rob, I learned that from you. And the last thing is leadership. And I tell you, you talk about someone who, who walks the walk. Uh, this is a guy who, who puts thorough plans in everything he does. You know, exquisite briefing and debriefing. He briefs when he flies, and he flies when he briefs. And that kind of structured discipline is, it works great in all walks of life. It's especially important in an industry that takes so much pride in safety, so much pride in being very good at everything we do, but you gotta work at it. And we learned that from, uh, from, from Rob Holland. So, you know, in an industry full of superstars, uh, industry full of great, great talent, uh, you stand out. Uh, and I appreciate your friendship, everything you've done for our military teams, uh, and all the sports of this industry. So congratulations. <laughs>
the award and the three of you in. All past members, come on in the, get in the background, if you will, get in the photo opportunity. Bring everybody on, Jenna, to come in here. Greg, come on.